What's new and what's missing in MIUI 12.5.1 Global Stable based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we finally got MIUI 12.5.1 based on Android 11 for the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro and of course I have installed it if I go into all specs you will notice that the security patch is from May 2021 even though we are in June of 2021 but that is how Xiaomi rolls the security patches are always a month late. Redmi K20 Pro owners who are watching this video do note that this again is the international ROM and the Redmi K20 Pro which is sold in India will come with the ever so famous Poop Launcher. This one on the other hand comes with MIUI or System Launcher. So if I go into settings and more you will notice that the default launcher is System Launcher which is why I do have fully working animations and another thing you might notice is that the icons are also animated. However, this build comes with Google Dialer and Google Messages as opposed to MIUI Dialer and MIUI Messages on the Indian variant of the Redmi K20 Pro. Now my prediction is that if and when Android 11 with MIUI 12.5 is rolled out to the Indian variant of the Redmi K20 Pro, the changes will almost be the same, just that you might get Poop Launcher and your MIUI Dialer and MIUI messages so the first change you will notice is that you now do have a new boot animation along with a boot sound which is kind of irritating to me so in case you want to disable that you can go into settings sound and vibration and then you can go into additional settings and here it is the toggle you can use to disable the boot audio while we are still in sound and vibration if your wi-fi is turned off and you do not have any data on your device as in any data connection if you go into notifications or you go into ringtones or you go into alarm you will notice that you do have the new tiled style ui however if you do have your wi-fi turning on it is going to open their online store next up if you try to enable or disable your do not disturb you do get a new toast notification which does look pretty cool and while we are talking about android 11 you can see that you do have the easter egg of android 11 working without any issues but do note that there is no bubbles implementation in miui 12.5 and once you enable the easter egg you'll have to go into notifications and control center smart home make sure that android r easter egg is selected which is when when you access your control center that is when you will be able to see your cat controls or the easter egg controls now while we're talking about the control center you do have some changes in the control center so for starters if i swipe down you will notice that the brightness slider is now pinned at the bottom previously it would disappear beyond the screen now it is pinned and if you try to change the brightness everything else disappears so that you can see the effect in real time which i think is pretty cool now no sim data usage as of yet but if you swipe across your control center you can switch between the notifications and the control center again very handy and if you press and hold on any notification you do get the option of allow snooze and other options next thing you also get a new volume panel so here it is this is how the new volume panel looks like if you select do not disturb you can change the dnd timer using a slider and again it does look pretty dope what you do not get is the miui 12.5 china style power menu so the power menu is still the old one over here next change you will notice is if you go into settings and then if you go into apps you will notice two new options manage home screen shortcuts so from here in you can remove any shortcut on the home screen 
and the application will be frozen which means it should not be using up any battery the next option is uninstalled system apps now this is something which is very vague right now as to what they were trying to do because they did brag on stage about me 12.5 letting you uninstall system apps but that is not the case right now so if i go into themes i can only uninstall the updates i do not get the option of uninstalling the app itself and that is applicable for other system apps as well so nobody knows what they were trying to implement when you they gave you the option of uninstalled system apps maybe you know they wanted to list the applications which you want to remove over here or that option is going to be somewhere else and the apps which you uninstall will show up over here nobody knows other than the super genius engineers and software developers over at xiaomi next change you will notice is that you have a few new super live wallpapers so if you go into settings themes profile wallpapers super wallpapers you now have five different super live wallpapers baked into miui 12.5 out of the box and before i forget you do get a new miui 12.5 logo as well next up if you open the gallery application you will notice that you still have the old gallery style and if you try to edit any picture by using the three dot menu you do not get the pdf and the other options which are available in miui 12.5 china but an important feature which you do get is if you tap on the three dot menu on the top right and then you go into settings you have something called secure share wherein you can share your pictures without the location info and without the metadata info next up if you go into the privacy protection same old miui 12 style privacy you do not get the new features wherein if you access the camera or the mic you get a notification in your status bar something which they copied from ios and is present in miui 12.5 china builds next up moving over to additional settings and if you go into button shortcuts again there is no partial screenshot and neither do you get the option of tap tap something which is available on the poco f3 and the mi 11x running miui 12.5 so if i go into gesture shortcuts over here you will notice that i have back tap and double tap on the fingerprint sensor of course the partial screenshot feature seems to be a china exclusive as of now now in terms of the camera nothing new i did not find anything new to be shown on video so same old same old and those of you who want to know the benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores which i had taken so let me go into albums screenshots or all photos so this is your geekbench score and this here is your antutu v9 score on the screen and before i forget because this is the mi 90 pro running miui system launcher if i go into settings home screen this is where i have my option for the gestures so i can choose between buttons and gestures also hide the full screen indicator in case i want to and i can also arrange the items in recents between vertically and horizontally something which is missing in the poop launcher so what is the final take on miui 12.5.1 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi mi 90 pro or on the redmi k20 pro in the future well as always xiaomi they decide to give us less features because we pay them less money heck no we pay them the same amount of money but chinese builds have more features updated more regularly so god knows why xiaomi is differentiating when they should not in the first place so again disappointing but it is what it is and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.